In this video, I'm going to run through a step-by-step -step method that you can use to find the derivative of a to the x by first principles. So we'll start with our first principles formula. And to use this formula, we need to define what f of x is and find f of x plus h. So obviously, f of x is simply going to be a to the x. And f of x plus h, we just replace x with x plus h. And that gives us our two functions that we can substitute into our first principles formula, like so. And so we've now got our basic setup. What we need to do now is split up this x plus h on the power. And so we can get 2 here like this. Obviously, we've got a to the x appearing twice, so we can do some factorizing. And we can take a to the x out. And if you're really familiar with taking limits, you may recognize this limit as being quite convenient. And the rule is that the limit as h approaches 0 of this is simply ln a. So you can replace this with ln a, and that is your final answer. And the problem is, we need to think, well, why is this limit ln a? Because without explaining why this limit turns into ln a, this isn't really a full explanation of where this comes from. So I'm going to take you through this limit and why that result comes out. So we're looking at finding this limit. And the first step is to let a be equal to e to the ln a, because that's all going to just cancel down. You're basically saying that a equals a. So we can replace a, and that's what I've done there. And of course, this h is also in the power. Now, we're going to use L'Hopital's rule, and so we take the derivative of both because the limit with the derivative of top and derivative of the bottom is actually going to be the same because that's what L'Hopital's rule tells us, that in this situation it's going to hold. So we can do that. I found the derivative, and so that LNA comes down to the front. Derivative of 1 is, of course, just going to go away, and then this H is going to become 1. So we get this expression here. We have to remember all the way back that we defined a as e to the ln a. So this is, in fact, ln a a to the power h. And if we take the limit as h goes to 0, we're going to get a to the power 0, which is simply 1. And then we're going to get our answer ln a. So we've now explained how that limit works. And we've now got a full proof of the derivative of a to the x by first principles. And I hope this video was helpful to you. And finally, thank you very much for watching.